an encounter with a Jararacuçu snake in the woods can be dangerous. A bite by the South American pit viper can have serious consequences, even death. But now researchers say its potent venom could also be used to save lives, if employed against the COVID-19 virus. In this laboratory in the University of Sao Paulo, plates like this are prepared with monkey cells infected with the SARS-CoV-2. Then the scientists put in each hole a different protein, called peptide, found in the venom to see which ones of them hit the virus without damaging the cell. Initial results seem promising. Yeah, so you find some peptides that are effective against SARS-CoV-2 in, in show low toxicity for, for the host cells that they're using. So it's a very promising result. It's a, it's a, it's a very um, exciting um, result, but it's the beginning, you know. So to get a drug approved, you take something like 12 years. It's a long process. You are talking about the first years here. The venom itself has been prepared for use in this other lab in an university in São Paulo's countryside, also participating in the study. There are many active molecules, not only in the venom of snakes like the jararacuçu, but also in several plants. And this is one of the things that shows us the importance of preserving biodiversity, because in it we can find treatments for several diseases. Much of the focus on countering COVID-19 has been on vaccines. But while there are now several approved to prevent serious illness, the search for effective treatments for those who do get sick has been much more elusive. It's hard to develop specific medications for this virus because we need to have a very precise knowledge of its reproduction mechanisms to be able to interfere with it. It's much easier to teach the body to fight it, and that's what vaccines do. There's a note saying that the difference between poison and medicine can be the dosage, which will be literally true if the Jararacuçu venom proves effective against Covid-19. Paulo Cabral, CGTN, São Paulo.